Savage, and today I'm here with the cast from Meal Ticket. How are you today? Very good, thank you. Yeah, good, thank yeah, you. Good, thank you. <laughs> and would you like to introduce yourself to the camera? Uh, okay, uh, I'm Rosie, I'm one of the writers, and uh, act in the play as well. And who do you play? I play Rosa. Okay. Uh, my name is Julia, and I also wrote the show. And I, uh, I'm also directing. Hi, I'm Hannah, and I play Alex in the show. Hi, I'm Scarlett, and I play Camden. Okay, so tell us a bit about your show. You've been getting five star reviews so far, so it's obviously going really well. What's your show about? Uh, the show is um, about a group of agency staff, catering agency staff, who are working in the behind the scenes of a Z-list celebrity event. Um, yeah, it's about the way people are treated in the workplace. Um, it's it's a comedy. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's not just depressing for an hour. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Everything goes wrong in the night. Uh, it's about. Um, wanting to do something that you aren't allowed to do uh, and being stuck in a place with a group of other people who want to do something else that's definitely and being forced to wear stupid outfits like yeah. basically me and Julia worked in a catering agency in London like doing like um, celebrity events and you just kind of feel like a non-person yeah. sort of thing so we felt like we had to look right something about it. So that's where you got the idea from then? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And yeah. why did you want to make it funny as well? Because the people that you work with are so unbelievable that we yeah. thought we've just got to get yeah. this out there. And most of, most of the um, things that happen in the play are from real things oh, really? that happen what to kind of things? Well, not the Glasgow kissing uh, Lorraine Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we made that up. I'm sure Lorraine is a lovely woman. <laughs> yeah. I, I would never do that. <laughs> um, but the characters, the characters are all from various people. So uh, Scarlett plays uh, a very uptight team leader. Um, who's a combination of, of people that we've worked with before and uh, she's also a, an actress slash singer slash model um, <laughs> and that seems to be a pretty common sort of trait in mm. people who work yeah. at that kind of job. Um, so yeah, a lot of what she comes out with has actually been said by mm. various. Mm. And a, a lot of things that are true in the play, a lot of people don't believe it, like um, for example the character of Guillermo, um, who throughout the play no one can pronounce his name and people are calling him like Gideon and Gamolo and like, because the, the, the managers just can't remember his name yeah. and that happened to me on a shift, this poor guy was just like getting like and how long have you been working? Like ages. <laughs> like I, it was in an agency, so we went. We would see each other different different shifts, um, but it was just ridiculous. Yeah. Like. Yeah. <laughs> and have you two been in catering before? I work in a pub back home, yeah. so it's kind of so you can relate to it. Yeah. Lower class catering, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bit, a bit less. <laughs> um, yeah, but you know, I've had some pretty nasty experiences working as a waitress and as barmaid, so yeah, I, I totally get it. And just the whole idea of being stuck in a place you don't want to work because you're trying to achieve something else is yeah. something that I think a lot of creative people our age can relate to, which is I think yeah. why the play is doing quite well. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think so. yeah, you're always asked the question, um, so, so what do you actually do? Because everyone who works in the industry is do there for some other reason, unless like they they want it. But normally the people that are in there, like the waitresses and stuff, are just are there because they need the money. And so we've all been in that position, and it's just that question you go, oh, I'm an actress. <laughs> <laughs> no one goes, yeah, me too. <laughs> so you're hoping that people who watch the show will perhaps treat. Stuff differently. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I think like the issue we're trying to bring to the yeah. Floor. I mean, like a lot of people have worked in catering, but I think it kind of relates to lots of other jobs as well. Yeah. Um, like there's um, like a lot of sexism in work mm. and things like that. Like I think we've we've sort of mistakenly dealt with those issues because <laughs> we just wrote down stuff that we found funny that happened to us and then we were like, God, that's so bad that yeah. someone actually said that to someone else. Yeah. Like, it, it really happened, so yeah. it's just observa observations <laughs> of life, really. It's true. Yeah. 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 Mm. Cool. Well, thanks so much for talking to us today. No oh, thank you. Thanks, thanks very much. much. Thanks for having us. <laughs> um, and if you'd like to see the 
of her show. It's on at 6pm at Underbelly on Cowgate. Thanks very much. <laughs>